Hey everyone, it's Earth Collectors here. We are opening up a box of 2022-23 NBA hoops from Panini. You get one autograph in here. Right now they're retailing for around $120, somewhere in that price point. Um, and I believe they're going to be released on Panini's website today for at that price at 120 I believe. 125 120 125 yep. yep. Yes, that's what I'm selling them for, 120 bucks in store. One autograph, basically a very staple release every year. This has been coming out forever. Yeah, kind of like um, the, this is like the, it's not necessarily the first licensed product. But it the, is the first licensed product. Okay, yeah, yeah. Every year. It is. Yep. Every year it's the first licensed. It's kind of the kickoff to what most people consider basketball products. It's kind of like Series 1 baseball. Yep. Um, fun fun rip. Uh, inserts are usually cool. Autograph checklist is actually pretty good in this. It's pretty deep. Um, so you can get, like, curry autos. You can pull stuff like that out of here. Um, but it's not likely. Um, there is some really cool stuff, though, that you can potentially get. This year they took out the slam inserts, which is a bummer. Those have been really popular, and I don't really know what they're planning on doing with them. Yeah, this they're year gone. they have more hobby exclusive inserts, it looks like. It's um, nice Jabari Smith Jr. And so that, I don't know if that's something they're trying to go Aww. for. So there's one of them right there, a throwback. Throwback. There's something, I don't know if this is her is auto in the first pack. already in the first pack? I don't know. Let's see. It is. It is. is. Yeah. Nugget. Michael Porter. It's huh. upside down. Hot signatures. That's actually not terrible. Yeah. Yeah, that's not awful. I'll take that. Uh, cool looking autograph, Michael Porter. So first pack auto, not numbered, hot signature. That's what I'm saying. There's some weird vet autos. You can get the rookie autos. Um, so it's a, an interesting mix usually. That's right. Put out that throwback card. That's one of the exclusives, the hobby. That's a, that's a decent looking card. Yeah, most of the inserts are hobby exclusive. There'll be a few that'll cross over, but generally yep. they're pretty pretty much have hobby exclusive. The rookies are a different color this year, which I hate. I hate when they do different. Like these are slightly darker bordered. Yeah, a lot of times they have them in a different position, like not so much of an action shot, it seems like, in hoops. But they're all in their uniforms, and, you know, on the on the court there's a red back. Yeah, red back. No one cares about those. I know. I, know. <laughs> I don't know why they continue to do that. No, no one cares. Um, we've got Dang, Chris Paul, and Gordon Hayward. So what are the top rookies we're looking for out of the set? So you're looking for Paulo Benchero. You are looking for Benedict Maturin or Maturin. I don't really know how to say his name. Jaden Ivey. Chet Holmgren would have been the guy. There he is right there, Benedict. That's one of the really good guys from this class um, for the Pacers. Um, and Ben Caro, there's another nice one. So wow. that is the guy Back. to get. Yeah. And a Giannis. Those look sweet, actually, zero gravity. Those are popular. Um, but So you're looking for those guys. There's a few other guys that are sort of the very talented but kind of fringy players, um, if that makes sense. Yep, but so, not, the, not the top dogs. No, but the, the top five guys in this class are pretty, pretty solid. Um, so it should be a pretty decent rookie class. It's pretty similar to last year in terms of like hype around these guys. It's not like ridiculous, yeah, not but uh, pretty good. I think this guy is supposed to be decent, Malachi Branham. Um, there's another guy too, Sh Shidon or Shadion Sharp, something like that, um, who I know at a Chronicles draft, his single sold really well. Yeah. So some of those guys, um, but I think it's a pretty decent rookie class this year. Yeah, it just takes a couple games for somebody to. Uh, score a bunch of points, and all of a sudden they become the next guy everybody's chasing. Mark Williams and a Miles Turner. That's a sharp looking card. Artist proof to twenty five. Actually, it looks very cool. Too bad, the foil. Not a bigger name, but yeah, exactly. But still a nice looking card. This stuff's really fun. It's just, and it actually is at a price point this year where it should be. Right. Like the hoop should be a hundred twenty dollar box. It's a six dollar pack in my store something that kids can afford they can chase around here jade and ivy is the chase this year so it's just something fun and it's a fun rip um, yeah now back in the day they were 70 80 bucks or even 60 but yeah they'll never touch that again it's just not there yeah, it's right? not it's not how the reality of the world anymore so nope not anymore but this is this is what this stuff should be coming out at um they are going to have to adjust the pricing on a distributor end because I talked to a couple of guys today that I buy from that are direct accounts, and uh, everybody was pretty fired up over what they paid on this stuff. So, In a bad way. In a bad way, yeah. yeah. They, um, they weren't happy. Yeah, shops do not make much money on NBA hoops, if any. Uh, Jabari Walker, Stephen Curry, and Jake LaRivia. He sells pretty well. He was a Wake Forest guy, um, and he sold decent out of Chronicles draft, too. Wake Forest, long history of basketball greatness. 
and bead a kangu i don't hate the design this year it's not bad um pretty yeah normal, it's pretty 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 hoops like looking. and this is like the retro uh one i forget what year this is this is like mid 90s i want to say it's like 94 hoops or something okay. like that it's oh. right in there um i believe raptors that actually is cool. John Morant, a rookie like no other. Panini presents. I wonder what that is. is that it's kind of cool. Part of the base just an set? insert. Yeah. yeah. No, it's an, it's not part of the base. It's an insert. It's but, an insert. Yeah. Ooh, Bencaro on the back. That's what we like to see. Some kind of Bencaro insert. Bencaro. I don't really know how to like 100% say his name. I've watched some of the highlights and stuff. But Wiggins, Ryan Rollins, and a nice Ben Caro. Uh, I don't know what this what is. What is that called? Oh, We Got Next insert. Oh, yeah, We Got Next, yep. So that one is not an exclusive to Yeah, those are in retail, yeah, Those usually. are in retail, yep. So the ones that are going to have a little bit more value, if they do at all, will be the hobby exclusive ones, obviously. But Curry, Luke Tavers, and to 99, another Pacers, Aaron Naismith, yeah. green. That's, that's not bad. Not looking. bad. So switch over here. Pretty cool stuff. I, I always kind of like hoops. This I, I will, am expecting to sell a lot of these boxes in my store because it's fun and affordable um, for once. The basketball stuff. You have to realize that this is the only product besides Revolution, like New Year's right, basketball right. in the past year that's come out under 130 bucks. Right. And really, there's only a couple that have come out under 200. So, so yeah, that I mean, right, exactly. So 120 for this, and it's fun. I mean, you're gonna pay what 35, 30, 35 dollars for a blaster box. Yeah, yeah um, hobbies is the way to go with this for sure. Yeah. And Usually, hoops retail has nothing in it. That's pretty cool. The city. Um, yeah, right, exactly. And the chances to get, you know, there are, if you look at the checklist, there are very good autographs in, yeah. uh, in hoops. There are Curry's, there are Jokic, yep. there's usually some vet stuff too. And there's various uh, autographs if you look at the checklist. There's so, also a lot of junk. Yes. But you can get some cool stuff too. Yeah. Well, if you haven't yet already, um, definitely hit that thumbs up button. We greatly appreciate it. Here's a numbered insert, a Giannis. Yeah, the playoffs. They've been doing those forever, yep. road to the finals. Yeah, they're always high numbered. They're high number, but... Uh, but you can get lower numbered ones. There's different variations and stuff, but... That is a fun one. There's a bear. The Knicks are now somewhat relevant in the NBA. Um, there's Zion with the comeback year here. Except he got hurt, so... Yeah, like always. Um... Wendell Moore Jr. And there he is, now Ivy. playing Those Ivy. Cool. I like yeah, those. it's not bad. Put him in our rookie pile here. Yeah, so I think last night there was a record setting performance by, I think it was the Miami Heat, who yep. uh, did not miss a single free throw. Yep. 40, I think 40, was it 43? Something like or that. Or 40 yeah. points or 43 throws. I don't know. They didn't miss any. So. 40 free throws would be a lot. Yeah, I think points. it's I think it was points, but there's a Alec Burks. That's just the purple. Not numbered. Those are lame. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> those bad. are no, those are kind of like the red backs, not yeah. They, they stopped for whatever reason, they stopped making stuff that's numbered to like two ninety nine or three ninety nine. I'd way rather have a purple if it was numbered to four ninety nine than I would if it was just not numbered and short yeah. five hundred. I mean, right, right. At least you know that there's some kind of limit as to yeah, how many and, they and made. I think they would sell better too, but they just stopped doing that. Um, they don't really make much that's not numbered to you know more than 99 anymore. He's playing really well for the Knicks. He's a stud. Yeah. And we have Chandler for the Grizzlies. And here is what is this? This is just Larson. like no, it's just it's just the color of the yeah. um, uniform. Deep book. Uh, Prime time. Prime Apple time. Card. All right. Well, yeah, let us know in the comments below. Are you going to pick up any hoops um, hobby and or are you going to wait for retail or are you just not going to touch it at all and wait for a different release to come out? I think this stuff will you? sell pretty well because there is no other basketball coming yeah, out. Yeah, there is no other basketball. Yep. I think Collegiate Prism is the next release and people don't really care oh. that much about that. It's kind of whatever. Um, There's a Donovan Mitchell. Uh, That's nice a hollow. One. Yeah, with his jazz uniform and a Cleveland Cavaliers He's a stud, um, He's good. name in there, so it's a hollow. Um, yeah, that's a nice looking card. Yeah, he is very good. He had a ton of points. They lost last night to the Jazz, I believe. Um, the Cavs did, but he played very well uh, against really his former player. team. Yeah. Yep. 
Anthony Davis, and our rookie here is Kells. Kells, Kells. There's a lot of us. Yeah, I actually like that. Too. Giannis, Coopla. that's cool. Coopla. I think this is one of the hobby exclusives, if I'm not mistaken. Cool. Yeah, so overall, you know, obviously it's a base heavy product. So if you're not into to base, you're not going to look at this anyways. But if you like to actually collect the players, get people like a Luke, you know, a Luca card or whatever, um, this is definitely a fun rip, in my opinion. Always have been a fan of uh, hoops. That's actually cool. I like that, Maxi. That is cool. And it's numbered to 2022. Yeah, three or four packs left. We got four packs left out of this. I like hoops. I think it's fun. Cards look cool. You at least get the one auto. I liked it more when it was two. That was more fun. Yeah, but, that was more fun. You usually got one pretty garbage auto and then one I think the, halfway from decent. From what I've seen, the quality of the autos is a little bit better than it was before. There's not as much, like, seventh-year vet garbage. Um, it's a lot more of, like, at least, like, semi-stars. Like Michael Porter's or yes, Jalen Brunson. Yeah, since they, like that. Yeah, since they, they yeah. added it or they took away one of the autographs, they I think they definitely made the one autograph a little higher quality. Yeah, which is cool. Which is good. If it was one autograph and you still got all the junk that you used to get, it'd be eh, but That's an interesting card. Tatum. Yeah, that's a throwback one. That yeah, that's earlier. cool. I like that one. Jake again. I think we got pretty much every good rookie. And then there's a Donovan Mitchell purple. Too bad he couldn't be in his Cavaliers uniform, but hey, got to save him up for later on in the season. But we already are later on in the se yeah. <laughs> season with these releases right, being like so late. Way, yeah. Right, which is, I don't know, it's very weird. It's kind of killed basketball stuff because there's yes. no like, hype building up to stuff. Right, and the stuff that's out there it's just nice sits on the shelves. Yeah, that's nice. Like, I bet some of those Bancaros will sell for four or five bucks right out the gate. Yeah, maybe even more. City Edition, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, overall, I'd say, you know, nothing crazy out of this box, but definitely a fun rip um, for what you're getting uh, as far as the cards go in this product. Um, when you can buy a hobby box for 120 bucks, never a bad thing. And our last card, that's pretty nice. So definitely uh, the top pick of the 2022 draft so definitely that is a sweet card to get uh, at the last pack so as some people say you know last pack mojo <laughs> i don't know about that but that's definitely not a bad card so um this is uh a definitely a good way to end the box but anyways here's a look at the insert or the inserts parallels um and rookie cards i don't know if we got all the rookie cards in the stack but you get a lot of stuff in there that's just not base. And then here is mainly the base with a couple rookies sprinkled in. So there are, there are a few rookies in here, but there's your stack of base. Uh, so you're getting eight cards per pack, 24 uh, packs. So you get quite a few cards out of here and, uh, you know, some fun inserts and that one autograph. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. We'll be... Uh, doing more basketball as it comes out and when retail comes out we'll be um, buying some of that and showing you what you can expect out of retail when we find that maybe we'll even find that this week or next in the stores um, i know mosaic football came out this week on target so hopefully hoops will be uh you know falling shortly behind uh in a retail release so thanks for watching guys uh, take care have fun collecting and we will see you in the next video